In my playbook tonight, we're talking green jobs. That's where the economy can grow. President Obama has been pushing for this all along. Just this week, he announced a $3.4 billion in federal grants to mobilize the country's power grid. By improving our clean energy capabilities, we can create jobs and help the government. One of the technologies that is doing all of this is wind power. My next guest is an industry leader, and we bring in now the CEO of Wind Capital Group, Tom Carnahan. Mr. Carnahan. Hand, good to have you with us tonight. Thank you for having me here, Ed. Uh, put in perspective for our viewers tonight, how far have we come in the last five years, and what's the next five years going to be like? Wind energy has really taken off in the last few years. Last year, in 2008, this is an, a great statistic, 42% of all of the new power plants that came online were wind farms, second only to ones from natural gas. So it's really taken off. The big question is, what is the federal policy going to uh, be that drives this in the future? What would you like to see happen? Um, what I'd like to see is a renewable energy standard, and that means a requirement that utilities have to get a certain amount of their electricity from renewable sources. So a sources. mandate on how you're going to produce the energy, and it's got to be wind. I, I, it has to be a renewable energy, any kind of renewable energy. That is part of the discussion in the climate change bill right now that sometimes gets overlooked. It's very effective, it will drive business, and it should be a commitment to 20% in the next decade. The Chinese are already doing this. Yes, they are. I was going to ask you about that. So how do we know? that we're going to be able to stay ahead of the Chinese in at least something? Well, uh, right now I don't know because the biggest threat to uh, wind energy and renewable energy taking off is the lack of a consistent federal policy. We need to have that RES. We need to, we've been talking about this since the 70s. Uh, the time to act is now. Okay. So how many manufacturing jobs or how many jobs do you think the wind industry can create in this country that would actually factor into the bottom line in this country to turn the economy around? It's hundreds and hundreds of thousands of jobs, even in the short term. And let me talk about a project we're working on right now. Yeah. We have a 150 megawatt project that's enough to power 50,000 homes. Literally, as we speak, down in Greenville, South Carolina, they are putting together the turbines at the GE facility for this project. We buy transformers. There's at least 7,000 parts in these wind turbines. So it's, uh, it is a lot of manufacturing. On top of that, we've got 200 guys out working on the site every day. Where's the hotbed for this? Is it all over the country or are there some areas that, like I know on the prairie, I mean, it's the wind blows like crazy, but California, Florida, it, offshore? Wind Capital Group's focused on the Midwest, and I think that's where the growth is going to be. You're from North Dakota. Uh, you know there's a lot of wind up there, and so if we can get the transmission lines to pull that out, get the power to Chicago and Denver, you're going to see a lot of projects happening uh, in your home state. Mr. Carnahan, good to have you with us tonight. Thanks so much. Thank you.